The two institutions provide the physically and mentally handicapped friends, the excellent environment of education and work. We are devoted to the missionary work jointly, protect the operation of the factories, promote the welfare of physically and mentally handicapped people, and contribute our efforts for the people that have the need. In the 40 years that flow slowly, the change of happy Christian homes is actually amazing. From the low red brick house to the present perfect district and the teaching building, from 16 people of polio to the present institutions and branches providing services for the physically and mentally handicapped people of infant children, children, adults to the old people. The toil and hardship within are far beyond our imagination. However, with the people's gradual progress day by day and people's smiles, the sweat and tears have gotten the most precious feedback. Just as what Bible says, they that saw in tears shall be in joy. All the way to this day, besides the volunteers' constant persistence and untiring endeavors, there are the enthusiastic people who help us to raise, and the benevolent people that provide their names or support us silently. This effort comes from all directions, support happy Christian homes to pass every predicament, and link happy Christian home steps of continuous going forward. Granny spent half of her life span to construct and create this safe heaven that strides across the nationality for the handicapped people. Every inch of happy Christian homes has bringing memories about love because of the firm belief for the God and the love of selfless contribution. Granny has realized her own promise for this land in Taiwan. In the future, Happy Christian Homes will extend this changeless sense of mission to continue going forward. May the God bless you to be safe and merry. Thank you.